So my birthday was nearly three months ago and I vlogged the whole thing and immediately forgot about it until just now. So here's that video finally, have fun. My day started at 7 a.m. for some reason. I have no idea why I got up at that ungodly hour. Why? I don't work, I got nowhere to be. Go back to bed past me, it's your birthday. This is my throne. It's a reclining massage chair that heats up. It helps with my back pain. I spend most of my time here doing various things. <laughs> my chiropractor was so happy when he found out I had one of these. He's like, use it every day. So now I use it every day. My mom started this birthday breakfast tradition for me when I was really young. It's just chocolate milk and chocolate donuts. But I wanted to give it a bit more substance this year instead of just pure sugar first thing in the morning. So I got these Fiber One 100 calorie donuts I'm gonna have one of, along with a cookies and cream Greek yogurt and a chocolate protein shake. Just get some more nutritional value in there. I've been using this meal tracking app called Bite Pal, not sponsored, just part of my day. This breakfast didn't score very high nutritionally, but you know what? It's fine. It's my birthday. After breakfast, I engaged in some relaxing activity before heading to the bathroom for general morning hygiene stuff. I was just setting up to crochet and I got a call from my friend April to wish me a happy birthday. It was a short little five minute call, but I, it was so sweet. I don't think I'm getting any presents for my birthday other than the one my grandpa bought me and the one I bought for myself. So it was nice to have a fun little birthday call. I then set my recliner all the way back and started working on a crochet baby blanket for my future nephew. While I was grinding away at this blanket that needed to be done by that weekend because that's when the gender reveal party was, I was watching two of my annual birthday movies. Two children's movies that came out on my birthday in previous years, starting with Barbie and the Diamond Castle, which came out on my ninth birthday. This movie just felt like it was made for me in so many ways. One, it came out on my birthday, obviously, and two, people like to call this the gay Barbie movie for the following reasons. One, they live every cottagecore lesbian fantasy of living together in a quaint little cottage where they just have a garden and sell flowers and sing songs all the time. Two, they never get with their male love interests. They're constantly dodging them and even go as far to fly away on a rainbow together. Three, at the end of the movie, they get these gown transformations that make them into the perfect replicas of the lesbian and bisexual flags. So yeah, these girls are sapphic as hell. My love for this movie actually helped me narrow down my name choices when I was going about my name change four years ago. The name Liana was already on the list of ideas for potential names. And then I did my yearly rewatch of this movie and remembered that Barbie's name in this movie is Liana. Same spelling, same pronunciation, and that just really sealed the deal for me. After watching that movie, I watched Nine, which came out on my 10th birthday. By the time that movie ended, I was really hungry and I refused to cook on my birthday, so I asked my grandpa for a ride to Arby's. I had a birthday coupon I could redeem. I got their bourbon barbecue burger with curly fries and a Diet Coke, and I got some jalapeno poppers to snack on later. While I was eating, I watched some Gravity Falls because I was in the middle of a full rewatch of the series. This meal also ranked really low nutritionally, but it's still my birthday and it still doesn't count. After eating, I continued watching Gravity Falls while getting back to the grind with my crochet baby blanket. I also intermittently read and replied to a bunch of birthday messages. After that, I spent an entire hour editing a single TikTok. I'm not kidding you, this 42 second long TikTok took me an entire 60 minutes to edit and post. It's, oh my God. <laughs> I just did a fun little silly goofy thing and forgot to hit record, so now I need to fill you all in. <laughs> I had been sitting down for a couple hours, so I decided to get up and clean a bit and get some exercise in, because you know, I've been sitting down for a few hours. So I tidied up the kitchen, tidied up my throne area because of, you know, lunch trash. And then I decided, you know, I really need to get up and move a bit more. So I'm pacing in circles around my house. And while I was pacing, I went to go check to see the quality of that footage and it doesn't exist. So yeah, now I had to record this to let you know what you missed. One final lap, I'll fill up my water bottle while I'm in the kitchen 
and then I'm going to sit down again. <laughs> Woo! Put some electrolytes in there. Get some ice in there. And if you're wondering, yes, I do have my phone flash on instead of just turning on the lights in my home. I don't like the lights, okay? <laughs> They're too big. I overfilled it because it's too dark. <laughs> I'm actually starting to get a headache because I get headaches every day and it's fun and silly and yay. So I have to turn on the flash for my phone for you to be able to see me because it's dark in here. All the curtains are closed. I still have jalo jalapeno bites, so that's fun. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. That's how long I sat down for when I got the notification that the mailman is here. Two minutes. Two minutes. Long enough to reply to a single Snapchat. My friend sent me a happy birthday using the back camera, so I just hope this is a good shot. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Energy bill. That's important. Spam. More important stuff. I'm gonna open this slightly off frame in case it's government. I know it's government stuff, but is it like super confidential government stuff? Ooh, would you look at that? My EBT benefits have been raised by $2 a month. That is going to keep me from starvation, that extra $2 a month starting in October. I don't know how I could have afforded groceries on only $162. I really needed that extra $2. I need exactly $164 to be able to afford my groceries. It's just... <laughs> What's this one? Okay just reminding me of my state hearing coming up. Disability stuff is wild. Get letters from the government all the time. This is my new fibromyalgia medication. Naltrexone. Anyone take naltrexone for fibromyalgia? Um, it's a first for me. I'll be starting that tomorrow. I hope it works. That's a $40, more like 60. Anyway, this is my birthday present for my grandpa. So I'm gonna hold off on opening this, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> Wait until he gets up from his nap. During the wait, I went back to my Gravity Falls binge and ate those pepper poppers I saved before. Unfortunately, the nutritional score on that was the lowest score I have ever earned. I, oh my God. I made up for my poor nutrition by grinding away at this baby blanket for an entire hour and a half. That's how long it took for my grandpa to wake up. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Where's your earphones? Blends in. Go look in the mirror. Carry headphones, kitty headphones. I have kitty headphones. <laughs> After that, I got back to work on the baby blanket while watching Gravity Falls until I got tired, which happened to be six hours later. I had to turn the light on to get a good shot, and I'm regretting it. I just got all up in my feels because um, I got a text from my aunt. I have a few aunts. I'm talking about the one that's actually my mom's sister. <laughs> and she said, happy late birthday. Not late birthday, like happy birthday. Sorry, it's so late in the day. Um, because it's like her kid's bedtime or whatever. And it's just got me thinking about all the birthday texts I've gotten today. And some that I didn't, there's a couple, not really a couple, more like just one person I thought I would get a text from today at the bare minimum and I didn't. My brother, he didn't send me a message or anything, not even like a comment on Facebook, which is kind of sad. But, you know, he's married and he's working and his wife's pregnant. There's a lot going on. They have their baby shower this week. So I'm not going to hold it against him. But it doesn't mean that I am not allowed to feel upset about it. I'll get over it. But for now, I'm still upset. And then, of course, I went down the spiral of 
how many people who t wished me a happy birthday did it because they actually were thinking about me and knew it's my birthday and how many of them just saw a post on Facebook and left a comment because it's the right thing to do. So many of these comments were left by people I haven't thought of in ages and I couldn't tell you their birthday so they likely don't know mine either. It's just my post about my birthday came across their feed and they're like, oh, happy birthday, because that's what you do. And this is not a dig at the people in my life at all. I lie in a bed of my own making. It's just, it's just been a bit of a wake up call that the quantity and quality of my relationships are lacking. I just have so few people in my life who would remember my birthday and get me something as a gift. I got one gift, two cards, Actually, my sister texted and said there's another on the way. She sent me a card. I am not going to measure my relationships with others based on material gain. That's stupid. However, when it comes to like birthdays and holidays, the way these people wish you a happy birthday and a happy holiday can kind of be an indicator of how close you are. How much effort did they put into making your day special? I feel like my birthday hasn't been special in a long time. I think that's why I made this video. I thought. If I made a video out of it, I can make it feel special, but it, it doesn't feel special at all. And the loneliness began to creep in, and now it is so late and I need to go to bed, so I am finally going to do that. Get this fucking light off.